Based on the almost unbelievable but sad and totally true story of Gucci heir apparent Maurizio Gucci, House of Gucci tells the story of the renowned fashion label. Based on a book and covering nearly two decades from the late 70s to the mid 90s, the film hinges on the relationship between Lady Gaga's Patricia and Adam Driver's Maurizio Gucci. The heir was at first disowned by his father, Jeremy Irons, for marrying a lower class girl before being wooed back into the fold by his colourful uncle, Aldo, aka Al Pacino, who sees Maurizio as having more potential to lead the family business than his foolish son, Paolo, the funny but maybe not quite as funny as some of his best work, Jared Leto. Directed by Ridley Scott, the film had a lot of buzz going into award season and I was excited to see such a controversial story of the 90s brought to life with such a superb cast. However, the film sadly meanders a bit too much for my liking and is almost certainly 30 to 45 minutes too long and it just lacks the intensity or pop to make the movie eventually lose its shine as a full package. At over two hours and a half, House of Gucci's pacing leaves a lot to be desired. Lady Gaga does a great job for me but her performance isn't a touch on a superb debut in A Star Is Born and it's not even in the same universe as Kristen Stewart's portrayal of Lady Diana and Spencer. Adam Driver is a sure hand as Muzio Gucci as are the two elder statesmen in the family as Al Pacino and Jeremy Irons. Leto provides the comic relief for the film and does it well enough to keep audiences chuckling through the final two acts which lack any other real spark. The most successful part of this film is without a doubt the first 45 minutes during which Scott presents the snappy romantic and sexy coming together Patrizio and Maurizio in the 1970s. It's an unexpectedly sweet way to open the film and gives us a sympathetic appreciation for both characters when they meet at a mutual friend's party. Driver offers us a delightfully nerdy and unexpectedly socially awkward Maurizio. It's a brilliant story and it's a true story and it makes it an engaging movie but it feels like it should have been much more engaging and yet the film which starts out with energy very quickly becomes a little bit listless, a little bit kind of just passes you by. Once the characters and their relationships have been established, much of the rest of the film feels like it's kind of on rails, with no attempt at an increase in tempo or pace. Gaga herself does a great job initially of portraying Patrizia, but the script doesn't really do a good job of telling us why in the end she chooses to go down the darker path. Now, it's pretty simple to break that down as one answer, and I don't want to say that answer in case you don't know what the actual story is. But ultimately, for me, the character isn't fully fleshed out as she deserved to be. Also, throwing the uh, dependence on the kind of it felt like shoehorned psychic in Salma Hayek and it just all kind of falls apart by the end. However, one of the biggest letdowns as the film is how little is understood about the overall perspective of Lady Gaga's character. The screenplay could have used a lot more polishing with regards to what drives Patricia besides money and power. It's very much about the being an outsider and wanting more trouble, but it never goes deeper than that and I feel like they could have. I do have to say that the accents in the movie didn't do it for me at all. Jared Leto especially seems a bit all over the place, but because he's funny, I think he kind of gets away with it. All of that means that for me, the last hour of House of Gucci is a pretty joyless affair. Though it's watchable enough and casting Lady Gaga as the main star in the film is sure to generate huge box office numbers, the film is the opposite of the fashion label it is inspired by. Overall, I'm feeling a light six for House of Gucci. Let me know what you thought of it. I think it's going to be more of a crowd pleaser than it's going to be, you know, a movie buff pleaser. But yeah, the film wasn't quite for me um i don't know how other people felt towards it definitely didn't live up the hype I mean, you see ridley scott adam driver uh, al pacino jeremy irons lady gaga jared leto you're expecting a lot more than what we got that's just my take on it let me know what you thought of house of gucci take care and see you soon